Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about design and simulation of a buck boost converter in MATLAB. This is a circuit diagram of a buck boost converter. Buck boost converter produces an output voltage which is opposite in polarity to that uh, that is being supplied. Hence it's also called as an inverting regulator. So the reason why it's called as buck boost converter is that it can operate both in buck mode as well as boost mode. That is it can reduce the voltage from the supply and it can also increase the voltage from the supply. So this is one of the most uh, distinct feature of this particular converter, uh, a combination of buck and boost. Let's get into the design point of view. So we have certain given parameters uh, with respect to the design. Uh, so let us uh, uh, go through the design part of it uh, step by step. So the first step is to determine the duty ratio. So uh, duty ratio as uh, like given by the formula applying it will be getting 55.55%. So one of the important thought process that is required in this particular design is that uh, whenever the duty cycle is greater than 0.5 it will be operating in boost mode. Whenever it is less than 0.5 it will be operating in buck mode. So right now it's 0.55 which means it's going to operate in boost mode. So step two is to determine the inductance value. The inductance value is being given by this uh, formula. Uh, so usually in order to make sure it operates in continuous mode, we'll assume it to be 25% larger than what the value that we are getting uh, is taken into consideration. So the next step is to determine the capacitance value. So uh, we are assuming a ripple of about 5% in order to determine the capacitance. Once we have a uh, design in, uh, with us, we can directly go to MATLAB and uh, simulate them. Before getting into uh, the simulation part, these are the uh, important blocks that are required uh, for simulation in MATLAB. So it's very good if we have these handy. Uh, so let's get started. All right, here we are. Uh, so I've already taken few components that are already uh, necessary in this particular uh, simulation. So let's get uh, started. Uh, we're going to connect the circuit diagram. So some of the most important things to remember is to select the type of component that is required. So in this we need an inductor uh, and the inductance value that is designed in our particular application is uh, 165 uh, micro Henry. So we'll be selecting that. Um, next thing we have a capacitor across the load. So we'll be choosing the capacitor. Um, and its value is 66.60 uh, so we'll be setting it to 66.6660 microfarad so we have a load uh, that is a, a resistive load and uh, its value is uh, given to be 33.33 ohms so once uh, we have these components ready with us we'll be able to connect them off uh, and one more important consideration is that we need to make sure the measurement port is off uh, that's not necessary in this case so we'll be disabling them so let's uh, ensure that this be, this is being disabled diode is connected in the opposite direction for its operation uh, the load across uh, the capacitor so one of the most important thing is uh, the visual indication of uh, what the whatever the value that we are getting so that's displayed in this display screen uh, we can measure the output voltage across uh, the resistive load over here um, and uh, we can display the type of waveform with the help of a scope that is uh, connected over here. This is the scope that is used. Uh, the RMS value of output voltage is uh, obtained across the output uh, terminals and uh, we have uh, the gating pulses uh, to be given to the gate terminals for its operation. So let's set the, set the parameters one by one uh, according to our data. So the supply voltage is 40 volts. We're setting 40 volts to it. Uh, the second and uh, important thing is to uh, determine uh, certain parameters over here. So pulse width uh, according to our data is 55.55%. Uh, the time period is uh, an important parameter that needs to be found out as well. So it's 4 into uh, 10 power minus 5. The reason why uh, it is uh, of this value is that uh, frequency, uh, switching frequency for us is 25 kilohertz and the reciprocal of it uh, is uh, 4 into 10 power minus 5. So it's actually um, a direct representation of uh, T is equal to 1 by F. So once we have them, uh, we can close this and uh, we can uh, check uh, the output. Let's set the simulation time to be one second. And uh, once that is done, I guess uh, we're good to go and uh, we can simulate them. So uh, we need to get an output voltage of about 50 volt, which is displayed over here and we are getting it. Let's check the waveform as well. Uh, so let us open the waveform and uh, check uh, how the waveform actually looks like. 
so uh, if we double click so as i already mentioned when we are supplying a positive voltage we'll be getting a negative output voltage and that's the reason why uh, you see minus 50 over here however the display uh, outside this uh, window doesn't uh, show you the uh, the sign of it it only shows the magnitude so so it's very important to uh, have that noted as well so uh, let us zoom in this particular portion and uh, see how the waveform so this is basically the ripple uh, you can further reduce the ripple by choosing su suitable values of inductors and capacitor thank you for watching if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel thank you